Hi guys, welcome to Rodha, my name is Prakash and this is a series we are starting for uh, CAT 2021 okay so it's like the develop the logic uh, through puzzles for CAT 2021 here guys okay so in this series here I will be solving through puzzles which actually you should know and actually you should uh, start thinking from those because you know LRD was that uh, not that in comfort zone especially in CAT 2020 it is a bit on difficult side okay so it's very important to start early in LRDA, okay, and so you guys can start with this uh, puzzle series, okay, and lots of lot of puzzles actually. So basically, uh, in this case, we'll see uh, how do we develop logic through puzzles. Uh, we'll see different kind of puzzles, few in uh, thinking concept, few new concept, a uh, few uh, coin picking concepts, right? Uh, a few uh, worst case scenario like that, okay. So we'll be thinking like that, okay. Fine. So yeah, before that guys, so for all the CAT 21, CAT 2021 people, so all the for CAT 2021 people especially, right, who are giving right now. So with the, we have this national scholarship test here, so it's absolutely free for everyone. So it is absolutely free for everyone, okay. And you guys can give this test from Sunday 5 to 7 p.m. Ah, uh, you can enroll through the link in the description here. So I'll put the link in the description. So yeah, you can just enroll through this link actually. And uh, this is a very uh, kind of a, a well curated questions are here actually because in this uh, is a kind of beginners level question and putting few tricky ones also actually so uh, once you feel what is the uh, use of giving this set is actually that right now if you give this test so you feel, you feel that in which section you're feeling very uncomfortable right that means you need to work hardest on that section in the coming months here okay that's one advantage and the second advantage is the people are getting 5,000 vouchers. Okay, so 5,000 rupees Amazon vouchers absolutely uh, for every for the top uh, top 50 scorers. Okay, so it's a great chance to win this also. A little bit of confidence booster also. A bit of pocket warming also. Okay, so that's uh, that's all from this NST, right? This is the NST scholarship test. Okay, and any of you, of you wish to enroll to my plus courses, you can use the referral code Ravi Roda and you can enroll to the Unacademy Plus courses, right? Okay. Now, so let's start with the video, guys. Okay, so let's start with this set. This is a coin picking set, okay? Okay, so if you read this set, guys, this set actually says that uh, there are two players are playing a game and one player can pick one match tick, one can pick a uh, one can pick three match tick, okay, uh, and one can pick four match tick, two they, can, they cannot pick actually, right? So you got to start thinking from somewhere that let's say for example, uh, now let's start with whosoever chance it is, right? Let's say it is the chance of which player at what number of coins, right? So let's say whosoever chance it is, for example, if at one coin, if it is chance of mine, right? So if there are one such thing over it, right? If there are one coin or one same thing, right? One match tick. Okay. So let's talk about coin. But match is a long word to say. Okay. If there are one coin, if there is one coin on the table, and if I want to, uh, if it is my chance, so will I win the game? Yes, because I'll pick that one coin. I'll win the game. So one is a winning number for me, right? If it is my chance and there are two coins on the table, so in that case I lose the game because I can't I can't pick two. So I can pick one. Now the other player will pick the other first coin, right? So he will win the game now. So at two coins, he is the winner. Fine. At three coins, at three coins, if it is at three coins, if it is my chance, then again I'll win the game because if there are three coins, I'll pick all three at a time and I'll win the game. At four coins also, also I'll win the game. So I'm talking about a person who's ever chance it is right now. So if there are four coins on the table and if it is my chance, means player who's ever chance it is, among the between the two players, right? He will win the game because all four he will pick at a time. Fine. If I move to five coins, at five coins, who will win the game? Who's ever chance it is, he will win the game or not, right? Yes, he'll win the game because two is a you know that who's ever chance it is right now, two is a winning losing number. Because if if there are two coins on the table and who's ever chance it is, right, he will lose the game. That we know now. Okay. So if there are five coins on the table, I can pick, th if it is my chance, I'll pick three coins and I'll bring the game at two coins for you, right? And that in that case, it is your chance and there, there are two, two on the table, two coins, so you'll lose the game at that time, okay, fine. If there are six coins, 
Now again, I will if it is my chance, I will win the game. Or whoever chance it is, he will win the game. Because if there are six coins on the table, if I pick four coins, so if I pick four coins, then the game will come down to two coins for you, right? And I know that at two coins, whoever chance it is, he will lose the game. Okay. So till six, all these are winning number for me. Who's uh, only two is a losing number if it is my chance. At seven, not think over it, right? At seven, is it a losing number for me or winning number? No, it's a losing number for me because. And if there are seven coins on the table, and if I pick one, three, or four point coin, so after picking one coin, I'll end at six. After picking three coins, I'll end at four, and after picking four coins, I'll end at three. Correct. So now, in this case, in this case, after picking, uh, yes. So in this case, now if there are three coins on the table, so I know that now three was a winning number for whoever chance it is. So after if seven coins, it, it was my chance, and after picking one coin, I have handed over that winning number to him, right? Now six is a winning winning number. Then if there are six coins and it is a opposite opposite player chance, now he will win the game because if there are six coins on the table, he will pick four coins and he'll give he will give the game at two coins for me, right? And in that case, I lose the game because I know that at two coins, whoever chance it is, he will lose the game actually, right? That means seven is a losing number actually. Then If I move forward, guys, what what about eight? Now eight is a winning number for me because if there are eight coin, it is my chance. I'll pick one coin, and if I pick one coin, I'll basically hand over a losing number to you, and you will lose the game at seven, right? So that's how we we'll try to find some pattern for our initial numbers, right? Because if you look look at the questions here, the first question is around eight to thirteen. This is around sixteen, right? So let's try to try to try uh, try to find a pattern around ten fifteen numbers, and then we can solve this whole set very easily, actually. So if you see this guys now if there are eight coins if there are eight coins here okay if there are eight coins here now in that case in that case I win the game at nine coins if there are nine coins it is my chance now tell me at nine coins I I lose the game or win the game now I lose the game right because I the, the nearest losing number which I want to hand over to you is seven coins right. But since there are nine coins and I cannot pick two coins, so I cannot hand over the game to game at seven to you, right? So in that case, I am the loser. In that case, I am the loser here. Okay, fine. So at nine, I'll lose the game. Again at ten, I'll win the game because nine is a losing number. I'll pick one coin and hand over the game at nine coins to you, right? So now you got the pattern, right? So I think you got the part pattern. What are the losing numbers here? Two, seven, nine. Now next should be what? So at, at a gap of five, right? First gap of two, then first gap of two, then gap of five, then gap of two. Now should be gap of five, right? That means next losing number should be fourteen actually. Why? Because again at fourteen coins, I the nearest losing number for me is nine. And since I cannot pick five coins, so I cannot hand over a losing number to you, right? So once I pick any number of coin between one among one, three, or four, I'll hand over a winning number to you, and you will win the game, right? That's how it goes about that we go about it, right? So basically, that's the funda. Okay, so I got a pattern right now. Okay, and obviously after fourteen, sixteen was a losing number. Just think over it, right? करो ना एक बार कॉपी भी करो ना ठीक है. Even if you're little bit uh, uh, thinking about this thing, right? एक बार सोचो ना. Just think over it, right? Of different situations and make sure that both the players are playing for win, playing to win the game actually. सब लोग ये खेलने के लिए अजीत रहे मतलब जीतने के लिए खेल रहे हैं, right? For example, मतलब uh, in the in this case की Both the players are playing intelligently, so सब को पता है कि कौन सा losing number है, right? तो ये series चलता जाएगा, right? तो what are losing numbers for me guys? So like one series is like seven, so one series is like seven, then fourteen, then next will be twenty one like that. So one series is seven k. So losing numbers are basically seven k, and one there's one more series here, two, then nine, then sixteen. That is seven k plus two, so gap of seven starting with two seven k plus two, right? So that these are two losing numbers here. Fine. So with this, I can very easily answer the first two questions. What first question says that what is the value of n from eight to thirteen, both included, so that winner definitely wins the game if it is known that Ajay starts the game. Okay. So eight to thirteen, now winner definitely wins the game if Ajay start the game. That means. You want that if the person who is starting the game doesn't win, right? So if the person who is starting the game doesn't win between eight to thirteen, what is that number? That number is nine. Okay, 
So nine is the answer for first question. Similarly, what is the value of n from sixteen to twenty two? So that Ajay definitely wins the game if it is known that he doesn't not he does not start the game. So again, you want that he doesn't start the game and he wins the game. That means the the person who starts the game that should be losing number for him. So between sixteen to twenty two, both is student. We have got twenty one as a losing number. Yeah, twenty one. A multiple of seven in between sixteen to twenty two. Twenty two is twenty one. So twenty one is the answer for second question. Correct, right? Okay. Now let's look at the other question of this set, guys. Yeah, so one more question here, guys. So in this question, it says that uh, which of which of the following statement is true? So if you read the options here, you'll find that D is true because if n is a multiple of seven, the second player will always win. Why? Because the numbers are what seven k and seven k plus two. Okay, the numbers are seven k and seven plus k plus two. These are these are the losing numbers for the player who started. That means the player who didn't start, that is the second player, he will win the game at these losing numbers, right? So that is D option is the answer for this question. Okay. So just think these things, right? Do we have to kind of understand these concepts and this set basically? So we have done a coin set initial pair, the coin set, and in that it is more of a conventional set. And uh, so this kind of thought level you need to develop uh, in in the exam, right? When you see such kind of set, so just don't be stick to any concept, right? You just quickly have that flexibility to uh, to adapt to different situations, actually, right? So okay. So do follow, uh, do follow me at an academy, guys. Okay, so at an academy, I'm taking a lot of uh, apart from all those plus classes. Okay, so I take a lot of free classes also. So the link, my profile link is in description. So you can just follow there, or you can all see all the free classes. You can open any free class. You can follow, and there's a there, there's an unlock code there. So you can just put that code Ravi Roda, and it is absolutely free for everyone. Okay, so do see these classes. There are a lot of practice sessions. There are a lot of uh, LR, LR, LRDA practice sessions already are there. I'll be taking a lots in the a lot in the coming months also. Okay, and in fact this week also there are many classes and a lot of quant practice sessions also, right? So do follow uh, me regularly at An Academy for all these free classes also. And along with YouTube with An Academy, we'll make our preparation complete. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. We'll see you in the next video.